Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Hybrid and welcome to episode 2 of my Road to Damascus Steel series. So if you're just curious, in this episode we're getting the M13 and the MP5K to gold. I also want to apologize for the constant spam of shoot house clips. I actually believe it is still on the 24-7 rotation, but I am getting a little bored of it now. So hopefully I will be moving back to the normal 6v6 maps. However, can we just talk about how fun this game is when there's a good map out? Shoot House has been absolutely great for me. I've been loving it. I love how small it is. I love the action of it. The only thing I don't like about it is the spawns. It feels like as soon as they put that new system in, it ruined all the spawns on Shoot House. Now, the M13. So the M13 is a gun that I did not like at first. However, once I got it fully attached, I did enjoy it quite a bit. Now, one of the main issues that I had with this gun was picking up long shot kills. It just takes so many bullets to kill somebody from range. Even when you have all the range attachments on and you have the blackout rounds on, it still takes an extremely large amount of bullets to kill somebody at range compared to even some of the SMGs. However, up close the gun feels really good. It feels like a really solid medium to short range assault rifle. And once you do get those blackout rounds and the final barrel on it, it makes this gun 10 times better. Now if you guys were curious for the attachments that I like to use, um, so the two main attachments that make this gun um, pretty good up close and at medium range. However, even with these attachments it still does struggle a little bit at long range is the Tempest Marksman Barrel and the 30 round Blackout Mags. As far as the other attachments, I ran the Viper Reflex Sight like I do on all my assault rifles. I ran the M13 Skeleton Stock and the Commando Foregrip. And that just felt like a really good balance of movement speed, ADS speed, and control of the weapon. So guys, definitely put on those attachments, give this gun a try. It is quite a bit of fun, however there are definitely other assault rifles out there that are 10 times better than this one. This gun really does feel good, it just needs a slight damage buff at longer ranges. However, we are going for Damascus Steel, so we did get the M13 to the gold, which means we will no longer be using it for the time being. You could say it's a bittersweet goodbye. However, we did get plenty of highlights, so enjoy those. We've lost Alpha. Oh, that's, Enemy UAV on that's the head. second time I've killed somebody. Securing with Alpha. Man, that guy was covered up by my gun when I was aiming in, except for his red name. Oh, what the fuck? That no. peaked there. Yeah, I don't know how he got there. I cleaned him I up. I don't know, though. just crouching. I'm just gonna stay on this crate, man. Pretty good. One kill for my VTOL and all I have is a Deagle. Alright, let's clutch this up. No idea. Somebody's gonna come from behind and kill me. Oh, I shot some of these legs underneath the car. All right, and the next gun that we got to gold was the MP5. And if you want to know my favorite attachments, definitely check out my MP5K slash Scorpion video. I will link it in the description for you guys. Now, the MP5, it is just not a gun for me. On my SMGs, I much prefer a higher fire rate, and I really do not like the way the recoil works on the MP5. It just feels like it bounces up and down a lot, and I'm not a fan of it. However, this gun is amazing. It was amazing before the most recent patch, and they actually just recently buffed all of the SMGs. And they buffed the quickness of them. They buffed the sprint to fire speed, they buffed the sprint to ADS speed, and they buffed the normal ADS speed. Now, what this means is that as you're running around, you're going to be able to draw your weapon up quicker, you're going to be able to fire at people quicker. It just, it, it really supports that running gun play style. So I am really looking forward to using the other SMGs. Like I said, the MP5, it just isn't for me. I oftentimes had to put a red dot sight on the MP5 just so that I could know where I was shooting. And for all I know, that could be a user error. Now, I am sorry for the short amount of clips. However, there was no audio on about four or five of the clips that I had. And also on those clips, they were extremely stuttery. The frame rate on them was probably anywhere from 
5 to 15 and they just did not look good at all so I did not want to include them however the issue is fixed I was recording last night and everything was fine and eventually we did get the mp5 to gold even though I didn't enjoy the mp5's recoil or the mp5's fire rate it did feel like it fit my playstyle very well which makes me look forward to using the other smgs and if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to hit that like button and if you would like to be notified when my videos go live be sure to click on the subscribe button as well as hit the notification bell and i will see you later peace